makeup artist always look like this if you do makeup and you don't like this half of the time you are perfect we're going to be talking about me today oh wait no we're going we're not going to be talking about me hi guys welcome back to my channel it's fire and bear and we're going to be doing makeup for a dark bright today which is my big sister so if you are just coming please subscribe like and share my video you know we love you and we would really want to have you in our family so today we're just trying to lay the hair with got to be glue and um you know i'm just trying i don't know what i'm doing exactly i don't even know what i'm doing like i said we're just going to try to do makeup for a dark skin bride which actually happens to be my big sister so um i'm just trying to lay the hair and as you can see that's just pure water because these are wet curls i'm trying to use water to kind of lay the hair down of course which when i'm going to do the actual hair i'm going to be using you know I don't know what to put say but i'm going to show you the product when i'm done because i actually did not put all the products or show products because i just remembered like one time because i'm not really a conventional youtube i just you know so like i said we're going to be doing makeup for a dark skin bride bridal makeup for you know a dark for dark skin so you know just move along with us as we go honey johnny right now i'm just spraying the hair with water do you know why i did this makeup to motivate my sister to actually go and get married i'm, I'm sorry you had to watch that painful and excruciating dance i'm actually just cleansing her face with the face cleanser i actually showed so that we can start the makeup and start our makeup on the clean base so we are going to be diving her face with please make sure you found the like find like the oh my god did i just say found what the hell find a foundation that fits your bride especially when she's dark skin because it's really really difficult to when you get the beard you've gotten everything so and don't forget the neck because you guys be doing clown makeup these days don't ever forget to blend in the neck i'm just going in with a concealer under her eye wait wait basically you can see that i'm going with a conceal the under eye to make you look better forehead you know and that's like one of this cheekbone is one of my favorite parts to contour because it just actually just changes the face if you notice her face just changing like literally five seconds and i'm just blending blending the makeup in blending okay right now i'm just gonna be contouring her nose please melissa if you see this video after i've posted it please go and get married because i think you're already looking like a bride already and all my sisters they just like just go marry okay i'm done I'm done with you all go get married hmm so yes i'm just trying to contour her face me i don't use cream contour i actually just use powder contour because it's quite easier to blend for me so powder contour it is guys powder contour <laughs> cordially apologize for the cornrows you are seeing it's not you don't deserve this i'm sorry i'm so sorry so everybody quick announcement have you noticed that i'm not drawing it the conventional way i'm just trying to fill in what is already there so that she'll have a more natural look based on requests but away so ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I 
Stay away eyebrows <laughs> will disgrace you sometimes. You will not even believe it. <laughs> when you are finished practicing, eyebrows now disgrace you. <laughs> My enemies from the village are not going to catch me in the name of Jesus. <laughs> I'm going to do this video with night eyebrows. It doesn't matter what I'm seeing right now. It doesn't matter. <laughs> fact that you can see my chops in this video because i think my village people on my case normally my chops will not show but right now as i'm trying to be serious just see my edges <laughs> i literally have no edges guy <laughs> What I'm using on her eyebrows, I actually do not know the name at all, I promise. But it's supposed to make her eyebrows you know, lighter than I drew. I feel like this is an important part of the video, the eyeshadow I'm going with a darker eyeshadow at the sides because of the type of bridal look i am willing to achieve i actually did not know what i was doing in any way but i just freestyled i'm going in with a very darker you know brown and i'm trying to make sure that the edges are looking beautiful then i'm just going to go with my concealer and just lay it in there you know just to set the the eyeshadow so if you do not have concealer please or eyeshadow base please you can also make use of a concealer And I'm going to use a gold because I just like gold. So I'm going to go in with this shiny eyeshadow, pigmented shiny eyeshadow, whatever that everybody is putting these days. I think I really like it on her because I love her eyes. I love the color of her contacts. And for the first time, I'm putting lashes on camera and it worked. So my village people aren't doing so bad after all. I know you guys think that this is old school but I'm baking and yes that's exactly how I put my powder I'm icing it small small I'm gonna be putting our powder small small you know so that it doesn't finish in time I'm icing my powder I don't care what you are saying man I'm icing my powder please please I'm not paying me for and as you can see this high shadow palette has finished we have used it for years and the colors are still there it's it doesn't even have a brand name i can't remember the brand name
Wait, but, but don't you think my sister is going to make a very happy bride? Don't you think so? <laughs> Comment down below if you think so. You see how I sprayed before I put any black in. I don't want my village people to have any head over me today. Because every time I put mascara before I spray, you will see it. rain will be falling. I'm not I'm not even ready to cry today. So let's go in with the hair. I'm actually using a very normal gel. I think it's an aloe vera clay gel that I'm using to bring the hair down so that it lies down perfectly then i'm just going to use bobby pins to hold the hair in place forget my pot belly forget my hand move, forget everything you're seeing right now and focus on the tutorial okay that's exactly what i'm doing with the other side too and i'm leaving one in front of course <laughs> just because One thing though, I'm really sorry I didn't turn the chair around. I completely forgot. What I'm doing is I'm just using body pins to hold the hair in place so that it makes that, you know, burnish. It gives it that burnish look. I'm just using pins to hold it behind. And I'm really sorry I didn't show that part. But let me know if you need it again. I would definitely do it again. This is my first time of actually styling an entire bridal look. I do hair, you know, playfully, but this is my first trial. So please don't be hard on me. Please don't don't scream. Don't write in capital letters because we are shouting. <laughs> So right now we're putting our bridal accessories as you can see this is going to make the look more viral i think i'm proud of myself i'm proud of what i did so please stay at the end of this video we have a declaration for you you know so don't don't press that dial i think she looks really good guys don't you think so comment below comment below anything you want to comment comment below and this is the final final look i think i'm pretty happy with the look i think she looks like she's gonna get married next year in the name of jesus so i can take her room in the name of jesus so let's just wait for the next one he gives the childless woman the family making her a happy mother praise the lord i pray for all my subscribers that you have a beautiful and light filled week we love you guys so much thank you for watching our video don't forget to like subscribe comment and share our video we love you